Hey everyone, Eric from Automate Intelligently here. Last week in the Slack group, a lot of people were talking about how they could have reactions similar to Facebook. Uh, so I created a quick tutorial here of how that works. Basically, I have a like button, um, some reactions, and then something that will tell the user how many people have reacted to something. So if we're to go look at this and kind of what it looks like, you'll have a, a bunch of posts. You could have a user photo here or something else. User would click like, and then they would have an option of, of doing something else, and you can customize those. So if I click this, the reactions disappear, and then it will add one reaction there. Basically, the way this works is um, this like button, what it does is it updates the post um, so that the state of the post is changed. Um, that state uh, dictates whether these buttons exist or not, whether they're visible. So they're visible if the, the state of the post is true and then they disappear if it's false. You could make that more complicated and add in also whether the user has specifically clicked it for the, the sake of ease. I didn't do that. But if we just look at this one, um, the thumbs up, uh, what it does is it updates the post and it changes the state to false. So all of the reactions will disappear and then it creates a reaction. So it adds the current post, uh, the current logged in user and the reaction thumbs up uh, to a, um, a database here that I have um, that basically captures all of these. So if we were to go in and do this um, to all of these different items I have here, so we can go in like this, go in and like this. Okay, then then you could do that. And basically we'd see when we exit here um, that there would be uh, three records once we click into this and it updates. There we go. There's a lot of other things you could do. You could have it so that when you uh, click here first, it will like it, and then these become options similar to Facebook. And then if somebody clicks one of these, it removes the like and it creates a new reaction. There's loads of options. You could add a bunch of these to the bottom and have conditional formatting so they only show if there's a certain number of likes or a certain number of reactions. That, I mean, really, the opportunities are endless here, but I wanted to give you a quick way that you could do that without building a custom component. All right, cheers.